So we don't, is it all laddies join? Hello laddies! <laughs> we'll give it a couple of minutes, see how many people come in, if you don't mind. I'll just put that there. Everybody see me okay? Yes? Press the screen at the bottom right or wherever it is you press and you get loads of hearts. Everybody good? Everybody happy? Can't see any comments, never mind, hope you can hear me all right. Hello Liz, thank you very much. Haven Wellbeing's joined. Oh, hello Katie, nice to see you. I hope the sound's okay, I'm in a really big room so it's echoing a bit. Yes, hello, yes, thank you Katie. So you get messy. Come down. This is, um, stick your head there. This is Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie's helping me out today by being my person over the other side of the camera. <laughs> okay. Well, here we go. This is my very first Periscope broadcast. The Tapping Santa is about to get on with it. Uh, please post your comments or whatever. I can't reply to them by any other way than talking. Um, I might not see them because I do get a bit carried away. So we will crack on. I'll try and talk to Anne-Marie and then it works Works probably a bit better. Bear with me, it's the first time I've done this. Uh, okay, my name's Phil Gowler. I am a therapist. I use a variety of therapy techniques, including EFT. Um, and my website is, oh gosh, Martin Starkey's there. Hello, Martin. Oh, uh, you're gonna be marking my presentation skills. Oh dear. Never mind, no. Um, yes, I'm a therapist. My website is www.philgowler.co.uk and one of the things I do is I do EFT as a therapy. EFT, oh gosh, I'm getting lots of hearts there. EFT is, stands for Emotional Freedom Technique and it's an energy therapy, so it's all about improving your energy flow and improving your positivity um, and creating positive states. Okay. If you see me wandering off and looking at odd things, it's because I've got notes here and I don't want to get anything wrong. Um, but whatever happens, happens. Who cares? It's Christmas, we're having fun, and we're going to do EFT together. I hope you're all sitting somewhere where you can do EFT without people giggling at you too much. Don't worry about it. Just play this back later on and you can do it later on anyway. Hello Anne-Marie, nice of you to join. Right, we're going to do tapping today on the word giving because giving is the word of the day. So the first thing we do when we do EFT is we put our hands on our chest like this. This is the heart and soul position. This is very important because right now we take three nice, slow, long, deep breaths. there for a minute. The purpose of the heart and soul position is it just calms everything down a bit. So you might be thinking about what you're going to cook for tea, you might have been thinking about what you're doing on shopping today. It takes all that stuff away and just calms everything down. Okay, we're getting to the tapping. I have to take my glasses off for this, which means I go suddenly blind. Um, because we're going to tap on, and I'll take the hat off as well, Sorry, but we've got to tap on parts of the body. When we tap, we tap on meridian points on the body. So the purpose of this is by tapping on the meridian points, we are effectively releasing energy in our system. We're getting rid of blockages and we're releasing energy. EFT is the best way of creating, so I don't know who to look at now, EFT is the best way of creating positive states of mind I have ever, ever, ever come across. Apart from listening to heavy metal, of course. That was only a joke, never mind. Um, EFT is fantastic because it creates positive states of mind. So I'm going to take you through the tapping process. We're going to do four rounds. The first round I'm just going to take you through the process. The second round will be on giving, and the next two will be on you and me together explaining what the word giving means. And Anne Marie can join in with this bit. 
So if you hear a voice in the background, it's her. Okay. So, first tapping point, you'll tap with this finger, but I use the three together, but you'll tap with the tip of this finger. First tapping point is the crown of the head here. Don't worry if you look stupid, pick heads, because it works. And if you're alone, then it doesn't matter. If you do this on the bus, well, fine, do it on the bus, who cares? Because you're creating a positive state of mind. So first tapping point is there. Second one is in the forehead. I really hope you're all doing this. I'll be very annoyed if you're not. I won't be annoyed, but you know. So second tapping point's there. Third is right at the corner of this eyebrow here. Thank you, Katie. Fourth one is here, corner of the eye. You will find that you have some more sensitive than others. And these are ones that you can work on um, if you want to do short EFT sessions. Under the eye, that's one of my sensitive ones. This bit here under the nose, which I call the Hitler moustache position, but you shouldn't call it the Hitler moustache position because it obviously has connotations you don't want to have. But now I've told you anyway, so there you go. <laughs> That's called imprinting, by the way. <laughs> oh, dear. Always do therapy with a smile on your face. Next one is the chin. Okay. Just there. Then there's, not quite in the centre, but just where your collarbone joins your breastbone. So it's slightly to the left. That's your next tapping point. And finally, the rest are all going to be on the hand. Don't mind the tattoos. Tip of the thumb on the outside. Tip of the finger. Top and outside. Tip of that finger. Top and outside. Tip of that finger. Top and outside. Tip of that finger. Top and outside. And then the karate chop point. Right at the bottom of the hand. Don't mind the tattoos, right, the karate chop point. That's one round of EFT. So we're going to start on the three now. So the first one, we're going to just say the word, sorry, poor Anne Marie's doing stuff in the background here. I'm putting her off enormously. Are you all right there? Good. Right. We'll start off with the word giving. And for the first round, we just say the word giving. 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 Yeah, good. So you say the word giving. Come on, you've got to say the word giving. Giving. EFT is a loud therapy. Say the word giving. Giving. Say it like you mean it. Giving. giving. Good. And just follow me. Follow me. Thank you. Giving. 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 Hello, Nady Berry. We've only just started, so stick around. Giving. Giving. Okay? Why do you say giving. these things out loud? Because your unconscious mind hears you and it thinks, this is important because you're saying it. If you were just thinking the words, it wouldn't have the same importance and it wouldn't have the same benefit. So, giving. 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 You can make a short sentence out of this. So, giving. this is about giving at Christmas. We are going to talk about what giving means to me, to us. Obviously, if we're doing this in a group situation, it's fantastic because you get a load, a load of different feedback from people. Navy Berry, I'm the Tapping Santa, so we're doing EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, also known as tapping. Giving. 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 What giving means to me. What giving is about. Okay, that's your first round. Two more. Now then, we have to say, what does giving mean to us? Well, giving means giving presents at Christmas. What does that mean? Anne-Marie, give me some thoughts. Giving joy. Brilliant. Giving joy. That's a great thing to say. Giving joy. Has giving got anything to do with monetary value? No. No? Some people might say yes. I suppose if I was 18 and my parents gave me my first car at Christmas, I'd be going, wow, fantastic. So money, sometimes is okay. But quite often it's the thought that counts. Giving time. Thank you, Katie. Katie's doing great because she's... Um, typing for me there as well, so that's excellent, thank you. So giving time, giving love, okay? Lots of things you can give. Giving support. Giving support, brilliant. So we're getting into, this wasn't stuff in my script. I mean, Anne-Marie's adding stuff, which is what happens. People add things and create a much bigger and better picture. Um, I'm 
thinking if you're parents, your kids have probably made something for you when they were very small at school. Um, it looks like something kids have made. It cost you probably 50 pence that you had to give to the school. I bet you you've still got it. I bet you somewhere in your box at home you've still got those cards or those Christmas decorations that they made. And I bet you dig them out every Christmas and find somewhere to put them. Why? Because they mean a lot to you. So that's got nothing to do with money. It's got everything to do with heart and soul. Okay, so giving. Quite, quite an interesting concept. Um, yes, anything else? Who wants to say anything else? Anne-Marie, got anything more? Giving peace. Giving peace, yes. Giving is a way of showing someone that you have affection for them, or that you respect them. How fantastic is it when you get a present, or even a card, from someone at Christmas that you didn't expect? That's a surprise, isn't it? So, it might even be someone you didn't like, and suddenly they give you a card, they give you a present, and what does that make you do? It makes you rethink your own thoughts. It makes you think to yourself, why do I actually dislike that person? Because I bet you they are reflecting something within you that you don't like and that you're reflecting back. So suddenly you just reassess your relationship with that person. It can make a big difference. Uh, giving is a fantastic thing to do, isn't it? Giving to charity makes you feel good. It is a medical fact that giving makes you feel better. And if something makes you feel better, then you're going to get the benefit from that. Anything more that we can have on giving? Anyone want to type anything in? Anything anyone wants to add? Giving a smile. Giving a smile. Oh, wow, giving a smile, giving a smile. How important is it to smile? Martin Starkey will tell you how important it is to smile. Smiling is everything. I wish I could smile a bit more. I smile with my eyes. There we go. So, so giving. Giving is, and it's also, when you think about giving, you think about receiving. Isn't it lovely to receive a present? Surprise someone. Surprise someone with a fun present. You don't have to spend a fortune on presents. Make Christmas fun. Buy them something dark. I bought my wife a nose to stick her spectacles on because she keeps losing the bloody things. So it's not a fantastic gift. It's a wooden nose. It came in a box marked fragile, believe it or not. As if a wooden nose could be fragile. But there you go, that's what happens. Made me laugh when I got it. Um, the phone, the mobile phone that turned up wasn't much fragile, the bloody wooden nose was. So there you go, giving. So you can give a bit of fun. Giving doesn't have to be expensive. Giving can be fun. Giving can be cool. It can be expensive. It can be whatever works for you. But it's all about the thought, isn't it, behind it. So have some thoughts about what you're giving because tomorrow you might want to go out and get something slightly different. Something that might be cheap, might be a bit of fun. Go to the pound shop and buy your partner something from the pound shop. Go on, I dare you. Go and buy something from the pound shop. Buy a, buy a bag of sprouts and wrap up every single one. I think I've done that. I think that's why I mentioned that. Um, because it's a bit of fun. I bet when you, when you haven't got a lot of money, Sometimes these things make all the difference. And there's nothing wrong with not having a lot of money. First Christmas we had, we made all our own Christmas decorations out of egg boxes. How do you think we feel about that Christmas? It was the best one we ever had, me and my wife together. And she saved up for months to buy me something nice. Sorry, you're not seeing my hand. And I remember that Christmas very fondly because we had two presents, a tiny plastic tree, decorations we'd made out of egg boxes, and it was bloody marvellous. So it's not all about money. So giving is quite important. It's all the thought, isn't it? All the thought and the love and so on that goes with it. Okay? Anything more you want to add, Anne Marie, before we get to the last bit? No? Put her on the spot there. She's fine, though. Giving food. Giving food, yes. By the way, apologies to all the people I'm feeding chocolates to. But um, it helps me keep my weight down. So I'm going to keep feeding you chocolates. Okay, so giving. We're on the last one now. Just wrapping up the giving. Wrapping up the giving! Ha <laughs> How appropriate. Wrapping up the giving. See, I'm a genius and I don't even know it. Okay, we'll finish there. Heart and soul position.